She blew us all away earlier singing a brand new single and now she's back to tell us all about life after winning the X Factor and putting British pop well and truly on the map. She is, without doubt, our greatest musical export. Here's why. Please welcome back, Leona Lewis. <laughs> Leona, we heard it earlier, it's a cracking single, but it occurs to me that you're attempting to knock yourself off the number one spot with another number one, because <laughs> the Haiti single, yeah. in which you figure, is number one already. So this, this must be a, kind of a unique thing to do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, kind of strange having two songs out at the, at the same time. But, um, I mean, the Haiti single has just done amazingly. And, it's tremendous, um, isn't yeah, it, what it's achieved? Something, you know, really proud to be involved in. Now, you're doing something else for Haiti as well. You're auctioning, well, not yourself... But, kind but, of. Kind of. What are you <laughs> yeah. doing? Tell us about that. Um, I'm just putting on a like a money can't buy auction, which is um, basically to like have a day out with me, either like go horse riding or bowling or just. Oh, do I ride. How much fun. do you want? <laughs> much you... I'll go for it now. Yeah, just to kind of raise money, and then um, also like the person that does my hair and the um, person that's my makeup are auctioning. Well, better have that as well. Like, exactly. <laughs> it's a whole package, but, yes, it's amazing. Lovely. Well, details on our website. Yeah. If you want if you want to bid for anything to do with the hair, riding, having your hair done, you know, doing another hit single, <laughs> She's Your Woman. The, just recapping over these four years, I mean, what a whirlwind. Could you ever have imagined? Uh, yeah, it's it's been... Incredible, and I just feel like I've I've done so much in in the four years that um, I've I've been out um, doing my music and just had loads of opportunities and different projects that I've been involved in, and it's been incredible. Does it mean because you're so successful, like, do you sort of take number ones for granted now? No, no, never. Um, it's it's always amazing when your when your music does well, you know. And um, I always take time to reflect and, and really be truly grateful for everything. Yeah, while it's there, you know, so yeah, make the most of it. It is an astonishing thing, though, that you did crack the states, which is fiendishly difficult to do. I think the last person did it was Kim Wilde, I mean, mm -hmm. in 87, something like that. And it's really, really rare. Did you appreciate that when that happened to you? That, oh, my goodness, I've done it over here as well as in the UK. Yeah, it was, it was hard to get my head around it, but um, it's, yeah, having um, done well here, it, it's amazing because it's home and then... Going over there and doing well is, is definitely, you know, an accomplishment, um, especially because, yeah, it's like the first artist in 20 years. But you seem more than many, many others in this business to have keep your, kept your feet firmly on the ground <laughs> and your head out of the clouds. I don't regularly read about you tumbling out of some club in the <laughs> West End having had a couple too many. Is this a conscious decision or is it just luck that they've not cottoned on to you yet? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just try and keep um, out of that kind of like, you know, going to the clubs and places where I know that you're going to get photographs and things like that. I go to places where you're not because... You and know, you get wanna... drunk there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it outside of the line. Right? No, but I know where to go where I can kind of keep my privacy and, you know, just have a, a normal life as, as well, you know. But you've, you've done your fair uh, show campaigning too. Now, I knew you're a vegetarian, mm -hmm. but you're really quite coming quite heavily on this now and trying mm -hmm. to persuade the rest of us who eat a bit of meat every now and again <laughs> uh, to do the same. 
So tell us about this. What are you doing now? Uh, well, I'm just campaigning. Um, there's a um, campaign that Paul McCartney and the McCartney family have started, which is called Meat Free Mondays. And it's just basically to stop eating meat one day a week um, because um, the mass meat industry is really having an effect on the environment, and, and that's where we're coming from, really. And um, I've been a vegetarian for many years, and it's just something that I really believe in, and I believe that something as simple as just stopping eating meat once a week isn't really going to affect anyone, but it is. it will have a, a good effect on the environment. And have you, I gather you've been trying to persuade Simon Cowell as well. I mean, have, your, <laughs> have you managed to do so? Um, I'm still trying. I'm sure he'll be willing to do it. You think it <laughs> and that you got the Brits to stop serving foie gras too, which is... Yeah, um, they, they were serving that and um, foie gras banned in the UK. Um, but as soon as they heard the outcry from like, the vegetarian community, they um, stopped serving it, which was amazing for them. Now, there are two ways of looking at this. One is that Leona Lewis is doing her bit of campaigning, and the other is she's trying to thrust her opinions <laughs> down everybody else's throat. What's your reaction to that? Um, no, I, I only say my opinions and say what I believe in. I don't try and preach to anyone or you know, thrust anything on anyone. I can only educate people, and hopefully you know, they'll take something from it, and if not, then they don't. It, you know. It's just the way it goes. Looking at your career now, and this, this, it is an, an amazing success, you know, whether you say it or, or anybody else does, what for you is the best bit? When does Leona Lewis think, this is why I do this, because I'm just, this is just so what I want to do? Um, when I'm doing shows and I see people singing my music, that is really such an achievement for me because, you know, you just see people connecting to it and, like, you know, singing and, and dancing to it. And I think that's amazing that people are actually listening to my music like that and really feeling it and being moved by it. There must be a great pleasure in putting a tune in somebody's head. So I've yeah. thought about a composer when, you, you know, you come up with a new tune and other people are singing it. It's like handing exactly. it on, isn't it's, it? It's very cool. It's a, it's a very um, awesome feeling. Yeah. Uh, we've got a tour coming up, I think, this year. You're doing full yes. UK tour now. Um, yeah, I start in the UK on the 28th of May and um, we're going to do six weeks, so I'm really excited about it. At the moment, they're making the sets, and um, we just want to make a really amazing show for everyone. This is my first arena tour, so I'm just so excited. Between all this, can you keep your, you know, your, your personal life going, as it were? <laughs> it seems to be fiendishly difficult, we're reading the papers every day, about the difficulty of keeping relationships going. Mm -hmm. How much of a priority is that for you? Um, well, all the relationships in my life are important and, you know, from my family to my friends and it's, you know, about just keeping a balance, really, um, and making sure I spend time with everyone yeah. and as well, you know, I'm so passionate about my music and my work, so I want that to kind of it's go the well as well, bit, but it's, it's yeah, bit, getting a balance, which I think I'm learning to do quite well. Well, we wish you well with it, but you continue to get the Thank balance, right? So it been great to talk to you and to listen to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Leona Lewis.